When the United States entered World War II in 1941, there was a serious shortage of manpower. So in 1942, Congress allowed the WAVES, which were women accepted for voluntary emergency services, and thousands of women enlisted. Now, even though they were limited to non-combat duty in the continental U.S. until 1944, the WAVES did actually participate in quite a few jobs. So they could be clerks, parachute riggers, lab technicians, and one of their most important jobs was helping decode German messages. Now, the uniforms were actually very fashionable for the time. They were designed by haute couture designer Main Bacher. And normally, his garments were so expensive and well-made. So the fact that these women, who came from all levels of society, could now have a couture designer's garment was very important to them, and their uniforms became a prized possession. The Navy actually even used the uniforms as a recruitment tool because they were so popular. And in 1943, the Waves, along with other uniform women, were voted the best dressed women in the world by Vogue magazine. The Waves were assigned four uniforms, and at the museum we have three on display, the summer grays and the dress blues and dress whites. Now the dress blues and dress whites were cut like a typical 1940s suit. They had a six gourd, a narrow skirt, and then a fitted jacket with distinctive round collar lapels. These suits were either bought or made by the women themselves, and they had specific materials you could use. The dress blues were normally wool, and the dress whites, um, they suggested a rayon gabardine. The women's neckties would be tied just like the sailor's ties, and they would be a square knot at the top for the dress blues and the summer grays. So now we're looking at the summer grays. And this was the typical labor uniform. This is what they really worked in, and it was made of seersucker. That was the required material for this garment. Now, like I said, women could make their own, so they would be given the patterns, and then they themselves would sew it at home. This uniform was a bit different from the dress blues and dress whites. It didn't have that narrow gourd skirt because women were more active in it. So the skirt was fuller and the jacket had more give. These uniforms were donated by Joan Braddock and they were worn by her mother, Helen Forshock, who was a World War II wave.